Divide using long division, 96 divided by 3. Okay, first of all, what is long division? So long division helps us do division when we have bigger numbers that we can't do in our head. So 96 divided by 3, well 96 is a number that we don't have on our multiplication table, right? So we, maybe we don't know that division right off by heart. So long division helps us by breaking up the division into smaller steps. So before we start long division, I'm going to, um, there's two, some terms that you should know. So when you see a division question, this part is called the dividend, and this part is called the divisor. So the dividend is the total number of things, and then the divisor is what you're, what, how many groups you're breaking that up, them up into. Okay? So when we set up a long division, we use this box. Okay? A box that looks like this. And we put our dividend right there, and we put our divisor right there. And then the quotient, which is the answer to the division question, once we find it, it's going to go up top here. All right? So in this question, 96 divided by 3, the 96 goes here, and then the 3 goes there. So 96, and we're separating it into three different groups. All right, and the quotient, well, we don't know that yet, so we're going to leave a blank space there to leave for our quotient. Okay, so what, what's our first step for long division? Do you remember the first steps for multi-digit multiplication, multi-digit addition, multi-digit subtraction? Where do we always start? With the ones, right? The smallest place value. Always started on the right-hand side at the smallest place value for the ones. In division, we're actually going to start at the biggest place value. So in this one, we would start here. So all the way on the left-hand side of the number. That's where we're going to start our division. Okay? So the first step that we're going to do in this question is 9 divided by 3. So we take our biggest place value and we divide it by the divisor, which is on the outside. All right, so 9 divided by 3, well, that's an easy one, right? That's one that you hopefully have in your head. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Okay, and we take this 3. This 3 goes right here on top of the 9. So that's a really important step. Make sure you put your quotient that you got from the first step right in line with the, um, with the 9 here, which is the dividend of your first step. So this is step 1. All right. Okay, second step is going to be 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, right? So this 2 is going to go up here like that, right above the 6. All right, so now we're done because we've gone through both of the place values in this question. We've done all the steps. So we're done now, and we found the quotient, which is 32. So 96 divided by 3 is 32. So see how long division helps us do the division that we don't know how to do? Because it breaks it down into two steps of division that we do know how to do. All right, and then our quotient goes there on top. But remember what the imp important part is? Make sure that in your little division steps, you've got, you've got a quotient and you put it right on top of the dividend of that, of that, um, of that division step. All right? So 96 divided by 3 is 32. So we're going to be doing some more complicated long division questions in the, in the um, next videos. So this one was kind of a simple one to, um, to teach you the idea behind long division and how to set up your long division with this box. Right?